I miss y'all too. And I don't know what this light might blind you, but look, in real life, it looks cute. Okay? So I have to come out with a. That's a bad introduction. I'm always doing bad introductions. Hey girl, oh boy, what if class tonight? So welcome back to my channel. I'm always seeing people in my videos. Like, it's. Okay, anyways. Um, yeah. So today I'm doing a rant on body image because you guys go down my Instagram. On my Instagram poll, if you don't follow me, you better follow me so you can be part of the poll because every vote matters. So, yeah. Um, I'm standing right now because I have work in like 10 minutes. So, I have to do what? Okay. So, <clears throat> I miss y'all. I miss y'all too. Like, if I still show me the support, like, that's so sweet. Okay. Okay. Let me just, let me just start it like right off. Okay, so growing up, I always, I wasn't always the biggest. I always wanted to be the smallest, but I like food. Okay, I like food. I like to eat. I like, I like to eat a lot. Okay, sorry, I was thinking something. I like to eat. I see nothing wrong with that, and that's when my family used to, they start to notice I was getting bigger, and they were saying, you know, I need to slow down a little bit. I hope you guys don't hear the cars. Let me be louder. <laughs> um. They was like they were saying, you know, I need to slow down my my me eating too much. Yeah, I need to slow down, and I'm getting I'm like I'm getting big and stuff, and that's not good because people are gonna make fun of me. People guys are not gonna like me, and nobody likes a big girl. So I was like, okay, that's just family. Like family always criticizes their children and their just everybody in general like they just criticize your family it's family like tough love whatever so i just brushed it off like whatever i'm still gonna eat bitch and and then um they were like and then actually no so i was very i was a very online person like i used to go online every single day oh she cut her hair anyways um yeah, I was a very online person. Like, I used to be on everything. I, I had a fan, fan page, movie star planet, start off. Like, so much things. Like, I was on YouTube. What else I was on? Like, I was on IMVU. Y'all remember IMVU? IMVU. I was on Kick. Like, I was on everything. I tell you, I had a bunch of accounts. And, like, I would see comments, like, oh my God, like, they would bully people there. They would make fun of their looks. They wouldn't come for me, but. It made me sad like I was like oh my gosh um like it, it made me insecure because they were making fun of big girls like people who eat a lot and on the media when you're watching TV TLC okay that's a whole nother thing 600 pound life that's not even something to put on here but like you know when you watch TV movies and people just like don't appreciate big girls as much so I was like oh my god maybe my family like my mom and dad are being right let me like start cutting down so i started doing that and it was just not me like i just did not like it whatsoever and i was like you know what fuck it like if the world doesn't like who i am like what i like then fuck them like i'm living, i'm living my life for me so i'm gonna eat okay if i want to eat a big mac every single day that's my problem that's okay i don't do that that's nasty but um yeah like if i want to eat i'm gonna eat and then, um, I would never get compliments on my body. Well, all of a sudden, people are just like, oh, girl, you mad thick. Oh, this, 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 this. I don't even know how to, like, take that as a compliment. Because back then, y'all weren't saying anything. You guys weren't saying anything. You guys were not, you guys weren't appreciating it. I'm not saying you necessarily. I'm just saying, like, everybody in general. Like, it wasn't something in the norm. Like, being big was a problem. And, like, like just big in the thighs, big in your arms, big in your shoulders, your back. Everywhere that was, like, big, not, not skinny, was a problem. And people would starve themselves. Like, you know, there, there was so much eating disorders. Um, what's that word? An anorexia? Anorexia? I hope I got it right. Like, there was so much. Like, that was in a high rate. Like, I searched up my shit. Like, that was a high rate in the 2010s, 11, and 12s. And a little bit in the 13. And when 2015 hit, like, it went, it decreased because everybody started wanting to get bigger. Because, you know, you want to know why everybody want to be big? Because the media has said, oh, yeah, 
being big is the new thing now it's the new trend you have to be big to be considered beautiful to be considered attractive to god to be considered to be successful in life and that's what people has been brainwashed with and now when you're big when people see you they sexualize you like when i'm walking the street i can't walk out i can't walk into a store without a guy ca calling me and i don't call and like like i don't want that i don't say for people to do that because it's because i'm on the bigger side like i always wanted to be skinny but now that people are saying it's okay i mean actually i don't i didn't wait actually no i didn't wait for people to tell me it was okay i accepted for myself for who i am that's what i did and that's when everybody liked it also that's when the whole world like not the whole world but you know like everybody was just like okay it's 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 it's, it's cool now so now you got all the skinny girls in my in the position I was when I was big, wanting to be skinny. Like they all want to be big now. They wanna, they wanna, they wanna get surgery. They wanna eat. They're like they're overeating themselves. They're doing everything they can to get bigger so they can be considered perfect, the perfect girl. And there's no such thing as a perfect girl. Like how do you know oh somebody's perfect? Like how do you know that's not a perfect person? Like. I don't understand it. Like, I don't understand the word flaw either. I mean, I say it all the time because, you know, it's the, like, you just say it, like, flawless. I like that word. But flaws, I don't really like it. I know it's the same thing. But how do you know it's a flaw? Like, how do you know that's a problem? Like, does that make, like, I don't feel like that's a problem. You see my teeth? Like, people would see that as a, as a flaw because it's different. Just because my shit is different doesn't mean it's ugly. Doesn't mean it's, it's something that should be fixed because every time i went to the dentist the dentist be like hey you you wanna you wanna get that fixed i'm like no nigga that shit costs money i'm not car you beat shit but anyways um um yeah so my point is what what's my real point is like y'all need to stop waiting for the world to tell you what to do with your body what what when is okay to show yourself just in any shape anything like your clothes or whatever like it does not matter like do it for you if you want to be big if you're already big then be big if you're already skinny then be skinny now if you don't like yourself you want to change yourself and stuff like that then that's going to be, still be a problem like you have to learn how to love yourself before you try to rearrange yourself because as soon as you as soon as you change yourself you don't even like yourself it's, you're still gonna have hate for yourself. You're still gonna have that same mentality. I can't say shit, y'all. Um, that you had when you didn't like yourself. Like, you have to change your mindset about yourself before you go ahead and change yourself. All right, now, now that people are giving me compliments, like, I'm not here to flatter myself. I mean, I just be like, okay. Because, I'm like, okay, I, I give like a slight thank you but I was like, it's like I'm now, people are not accepting her, how I look and they're like, wow, she's very beautiful. You know, that's that's what everybody wants. Like everybody, now you hear guys saying, oh, like, like I kid you not. Like I remember just hearing guys saying, oh, she's too big, I want a skinny girl. Like I am not lying, I am not lying. Now all of a sudden you hear guys saying, oh, I don't want her, she ain't got no booty, I don't want her, she ain't got no tits. If you have, sorry, no, if you have a guy tell, you know, sexualizing you like that, don't, no, don't even try with him, okay, uh, cut, cut him off, okay, cut him off before 2018, he ain't for you, but anyways, um, yeah, I was about to say something, yeah, so, they sexualize, like, guys sexualize girls who are bigger, and just because you're skinny, and just because people think being big is a new thing, is like, like, that's, that's, that's thing like you have to be big and it's and you know what's a funny thing you can't just be big you have to be slim thick okay you have to be slim thick if you thick 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 uh, 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 uh. and that's bullshit okay i if, 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 thick is thick okay thick is thick okay i know that probably didn't make sense it makes sense to me but don't wait for the world to tell you when it's okay to be you don't wait for that Okay, just do it right now. Like, love yourself right now. And if you have to love yourself to alter some changes to get you some surgery, you know, you know that's your that's your business. You wanna um, um, gain some weight, 
Do it for the love of yourself. Don't do it for the people. Don't do it for the media. Don't do it for the social media. Don't do it for your for the attention. Like just you want attention. Don't wait to get attention from other people. Don't live your life for compliments. Don't live your life to be accepted. Cause either you big or skinny, people are still gonna hate you. You're beautiful. Like everybody's beautiful. Now that's a whole goddamn cliche, okay? Like everybody has their preferences and opinions. Everybody's gonna think you're ugly. Ooh. Some people are going to think you're ugly. Some people are going to think you're beautiful, pretty. It does not matter. Don't let that affect your day. Don't let that affect your, your whole month, your life. Don't let that affect you. Like, some people think I'm ugly. Some people think I'm pretty. Some people think I'm skinny. Some people think I'm big. Some people think I'm fat. Like, I get fat comments all the time. All the time. Well, actually, not not, a, not all the time, but, you know, occasionally. You know, occasionally. But, yeah, so... And it's like, you know what, your comments is not going to make me change my life for you or anybody. Like, I'm going to live my life how I want to live it. And that's what you should do, too. Like, don't wait. Don't wait for all that stuff. Just, like, do you right now. And there's, I know there's girls who wear crop tops who have bellies and stuff. I, I couldn't do it. I couldn't do it. Like, that's that's a whole concept of self-love. You know, they love themselves, they want to flaunt themselves. That's a whole thing. I write that. Good, that's good. I, I like that, but for me, I I I, I kind of do it. <laughs> I could, I could, I could not. But um, yeah, that's for the that's the whole thing I had to say about it about that. I that's how I feel. Like I feel like people are now accepting big women when bigger people when bigger bigger people were always beautiful. Big people were always like the shit. Like y'all just because y'all are now realizing that doesn't mean. Everybody has to do that. Like, everybody has to be that way to be considered a somebody in the world. So, fuck y'all. Okay. If you're thinking that. And and just love yourself. Like, just love yourself. Like, just keep doing you, okay? Don't worry about these people on social media, TV, television, movies, telling you how to look like, magazines. No. Nah. Okay. So, that's it for the video. Thank you for watching. Um... I know it's a really, it was pretty short. I probably didn't have a point, but I think I did my point very well. I'm I'm a very really scramble girl, you know. Like I I I I want to say stuff, but I don't know how to say them in a way where other people can understand it. Cause I'm just all over the place and I'm rushing right now. I gotta go work. But thank you for watching. I know I I know I'm just slacking on my channel. Like I'm sorry, y'all, but thank you for still supporting me. And I love you guys so much. And I don't know what to say. I don't know. I hope you guys understand where I'm coming from, you know, like, I just feel like I've just been feeling this way lately, so, yeah. I'll see you guys on the next video. Bye.